managerial accounting. We're going to talk about budgets today. I bet you have one personally, don't you? Well, it's very important for corporations and businesses to have a budget because those budgets, whether um, they're for a year or for buying uh, property plant equipment, equipment, meaning they're the capital budget, are basically the empowerment for managers to do certain things. In other words, they allocate the funds and the resources to the manager to get their job done. So what a budget does is it actualizes the strategic plan. Uh, generally, the budgets we're going to be talking about uh, in this chapter are the master budgets. The master budgets are for a year's period of time. And those budgets we're going to prepare, and they start off with the sales budget, then we'll do the production budget, we'll look at the ingredients, the materials, the labor, and the overhead, also looking at selling administrative and general expenses budget, to come up with finally our financial statements, and these are called pro forma financial statements because basically they're how we want our financials to look like in the end in other words, our wishes, um, as to where we're going to go. And remember, if they're pro forma or if they're part of the budget, are they real? No, they're just our best estimates on what's going to happen in the coming year. So master budget, also known as the operating budget, a year's period of time. We mentioned that there's another kind of budget, which was the capital budget, wasn't there? And that's the property, plant, and equipment budget. And usually that is for more than a year's period of time. It can be up to five to ten years. And the reason is, is you have to kind of plan, don't you, when you're buying large ticket items. Like, gee, should I go out and uh, build a new building? Should I buy a large piece of equipment? You just don't decide overnight to go do that. You have to plan for that because you need to make sure that uh, the capacity that that property, plant, and equipment will give you is what you truly need and that it uh, is in line with your strategic plan. Now, when you do budgets, there's a variety of different ways to look at it. And so some of the terms that you're going to be learning are participative budgeting. And participative budgeting means that everybody is involved in the budget process. And it may be that each individual employee or department comes up with their own budget, which then is rolled up into the next higher level budget, uh, middle management budget, and then rolled up again so that your master plan is basically um, the consensus of all these different participative budgets. Another way to do budgets is something called zero-based budgeting, or ZBB. Zero-based budgeting means that managers have to start from ground zero every year and justify every single item in the budget that they then send forward. So uh, zero-based budgeting uh, says that you just don't take last year's budget and add 10%. You have to justify again from ground zero. Another thing you need to be aware of is a budget is never done just by an individual. It's usually um, governed by a budget committee. And in that way do we reach consensus as to the, what we should be spending our time on and does it meet the needs of our strategic plan. So that's kind of an overview of budgeting. Uh, we're going to start doing budgets um, and we're going to be a water company making bottles of water.